Okay, so first of all, I saw this chart that was made by Our World in Data, and I wanted to see if I could recreate it in Excel. So this type of chart is usually called a stripe chart, and in this study, they asked a bunch of different people when they thought we would have human-level artificial intelligence. And so each line in the chart is a different person's guess. That means the data that I need for the chart is a column with lots of different years in it, and each year is a different person's answer. And I don't have the actual data, so in my spreadsheet, these years are just made up. Now, the years are going to become the x values, and in order to plot this, I also need y values. And because I want all of my data points in a line, all of the y values need to be the same number. So I'm just going to put the number 1 in here and then double click to send it down. Then I'll go to insert and I'll insert a scatter chart. Then I will right click on the chart and go to select data and add in a series and the x values will be all of the different years. Then the y values will be the column with all of the ones in it. And OK, and OK again. And now I have a chart with lots of data points in a line. I will then add error bars to this chart. And then I'll double click on the chart to open up the formatting pane. And I'll use the drop down list to select the X error bars. And I don't actually want these error bars, so I'll just delete them. And then I will select the Y error bars. And I will change these so the end style is no cap. And I will change the error amount to a fixed value. And that will be 0 0.5. Five. Then I'll change the color of the error bars and make them blue. And I'll also give them a bit of transparency. Then I'll select the data points and go to marker and marker options and none. And now we've removed the data points and we have just the error bars left. And so we now have our vertical lines. And all of the rest of this is just formatting. So I'll delete the chart title, and then for the Y axes, I will change the axes maximum to 1.9, and then change the minimum back to 0, in order to get the lines more in the middle of the chart. Then I'll change the major units to 1, so we just have one vertical grid line going through the middle. The numbers on the Y axes don't actually mean anything, so I'll go to Labels and Label Position and change it to None in order to get rid of those numbers. Then I can change the size of this chart to make it longer and make it smaller. OK, so in this video I have shown you how to make a stripe chart in Excel, and that is everything.